We've seen every team in action in the 77th National Football Championship for the Santosh Trophy 2023 and the two Indian footballing giants Goa and Kerala face off against each other. The fans have been eagerly waiting to see a new look side in action. Uh, they host the former champions Kerala looking to put to rest the swirling emotions of their first game against Arunachal Pradesh. This round two of fixtures in Group A and they will be hoping to erase those memories and create new ones in this competition. Had a stellar campaign, both the teams. Uh, during the qualifiers, uh, Kerala managing three victories out of four. In the group stages, uh, collecting nine points, uh, finishing with a handsome goal difference of plus 10, scoring 12, uh, conceding only two. Almost a similar scenario for Goa as well. It's still early days in the league stage, of course. Uh, this time, the top four have a chance to play the knockouts. Here they are. Goa warming up. When Charles uh, played, he did not have such facilities, but now everything has changed. And Dias uh, feels every player uh, should make the best use of the facilities. Uh, this is the first time that the All India Football Federation, with the help of Arunachal Pradesh Football Association, hosting the final round of the Santosh Trophy for the first time in Northeast India. Joseph Clemente is saying that even a point against Arunachal was not too bad. Surely they can do better and they will start wanting to look up the table. This is the Goa lineup. They've made only one change and are coming on the back of an entertaining three all against the hosts Arunachal Pradesh. The defence has a big task on hand tonight. Fahiz had a wonderful game and he keeps his place. Joban Cardozo is the new inclusion on the right wing. Delton Colasso demoted on the bench. The rest of the side remains the same. The former champions Kerala are in search of successive victory and will be pushing for three points. Uh, their coach uh, Sativan Balan expressed his views ahead of the match. It has been a learning curve so far for them. With each game they wish to do better than the previous and welcome the remaining games as more opportunities and for that to happen the need to keep delivering. Kerala have a long footballing history. The past few years have been superb for them and the mainstream of Indian football even the clubs doing exceedingly well. Kerala Blasters reaching the finals of the Indian Super League and Gokulam Kerala lifting the I-League title successive seasons. Uh, this is how Kerala looks like uh, tonight. Uh, Mr. Balan continues with his 4-4-2. A couple of changes from the last game. Uh, Siddharth and starting in place of Belgian. And Nathan slots in there as well. The scorers from the last game, Raheem, Sajish and the skipper, Nijo Gilbert, all starting. A win by a big margin can take them to the top. But the initial target is to uh, confirm the victory first tonight. And both the teams have a very strong bench as well. Uh, as you can see, Belgian, the starter of the previous game, is there for Goa. So as uh, Safnid and the hard-working Gifty Gracious and Naresh can all come on and change the game. Uh, the former Salgauka captain Daniel Gomes is on the bench for Goa. Glencio Pinto and Wellington are the attacking options uh, for Charles Dice. Uh, two teams uh, have a different style of play. We look to entertain the viewers today. And moreover, very little to choose between the two sides when it comes to attack. Both are very lethal. One side have Fahiz. The other side, there's Nijo Gilbert. These combinations definitely bring out a cracker of a game over here. Difficult to predict the go and attack. Very free flowing. If you look at them. They've won three matches and drawn one. Been very flawless during the qualifiers. On the other side, Kerala have been pretty smooth. They had a blip in the group stages. From there onwards, they fought back. They're both going to offer two different styles of play.
And so another evening of reckoning as the top four rungs of the Santos Trophy we keep changing like a magical radar. A couple of points separating the two teams but all of that will not matter when this one kicks off. Yes, of course, it defines difference in quality and that difference will not be very visible when they clash as swords this evening. And Kerala have dropped points against the Minos in the qualifiers, got the better of the illustrious opponents. All that will not do. They need all three points to be in that riveting race for the qualifiers. The referee for today's game is Lakshay and he is assisted by Subrata Purohit and Ranjit, the fourth official Zerul Islam and the match commissioner Arindam Bhattacharya. We talk about teams learning and getting better but go if they lose the mountain becomes steeper for them. Is Muhammad Ali, the tall and sturdy defender. And here's Nijo Gilbert. He scored a stunning goal against Sam. Kerala have played some quality football in the tournament. And the results have gone their way, managing to produce what it takes to get the job done. A lackluster performance tonight could see them lose points and they are playing today and they will have to find the pieces in the jigsaw if they are to win all three points against the fourth place Goan team. And both Goa and Kerala made to work in their previous encounters. Kerala are safe and sound at second but Goa will have to win and overtake Assam to occupy the third spot. Goa beat Kerala by a solitary goal to progress to the final round of the Santosh Trophy. With Pijo Atias the net of the winner in the 57th minute in front of the home fans. The Kerala will be looking for revenge here. And so we can talk about all the troubles at the back for Goa, but the captivating numbers that make up this rivalry say that no other Santos Trophy matchup like it when it comes to them. The tactical boards and straight lines of chalks and woodwork coloured in bright white and corner flags, everything is just an illusion. Everything melts. So we welcome you to Goa versus Kerala. Two teams searching for yesteryear's pride who have been living this season's ultimate paradox. I'm just talking about the golden years of Kerala football. Starting from the 1980s to the 1990s when the Indian football greats Ayam Vijayan and Ancheri wove their magic. They made it to seven consecutive finals of the Santosh Trophy from 1988 to 1994 and won it twice. And moreover, Kerala Police won the Federation Cup twice as well and FC Cochin lifting the Durant Cup which brought more prestige to the southern state during that period. Piggy backing off all this success at the club level 
Uh, Kerala's state football team also grabbed headlines for all the right reasons. As they uh, defeated Bengal in the final of the 75th edition of the Kasantosh Trophy at their backyard. This is uh, Charles Dice. Eager to register for their first win of the final round. A throw in for Kerala here. A slightly over uh, Arjun. It's more like a, a 4 4 2 moving forward for Goa. We suffer, he's operating uh, from slightly deep. And Nishio playing as a target man against Arunachal Pradesh. And those two on the wings Joburn, Cardozo, and Rani. Operating uh, from the left, the number 17 uh, tonight. And here's Sativan Balan. Uh, Kerala winning the Santos Trophy in 2018 under his guidance and here they come from the right chance for Kerala off the woodwork that could have been a crisp start an unmarked header just from the edge of the six yard box that could have been the fastest goal of this edition of the Santos Trophy Nijo Gilbert putting the ball in and Rahim his head are just coming off the woodwork he did provide Kerala uh, the lead against Sam as well by scoring a curler nothing wrong in the placement Unlucky not to have scored. But there is Fahiz uh, for Goa. Dishank. Nitin left behind uh, by Rani. Uh, managing to recover the ball. The young a fullback. <laughs> had a good season with golden threads in the Kerala Premier League. He was in action in the Calcutta Premier Division for Southern Samiti. Here is Joseph Clemente, the senior man. Could run down towards Rani. Nijo Gilbert. A work in progress for Kerala from the right. Go up slightly on the back foot. They're just taking their time on the ball to settle down, to find the rhythm. But Kerala are quickly off their blocks. Go are just trying to steady the ship. Neshio wins it off Sanju. Neshio's low ball towards Fahiz. It has opened up for Kerala. Appeal for handball not given. So that was the moment uh, the cutback from Nacio finding for his. We saw a wicked deflection in the previous game and how Assam scored the opening goal against Meghalaya. Almost a similar kind of situation. Ah, 
Kerala in possession and just lost sight of the ball. Just trying to turn. Rahim involved. In comes at the cross and a first time clearance by Muhammad Ali, the skipper. He's saving the danger for Goa. And Rahim with the ball in. The shark just coming in from its left back's position. Kerala calling shots at the moment. Rahim having more of the ball early doors uh, that ball in field escaping Jitin Fahim Joban Cardozo is part of Churchill Brothers squad for the I League A lovely exchange Fahim in space, up against Nitin, and Fahim again, and fighting for the ball inside the penalty area, and the shot from Arjun is blocked, and Joseph Clemente has gone down, and this was the incident. Ashik not allowed to turn inside the box and then uh, that effort from Arjun uh, straight into Joseph Clemente the success for Kerala on and off the pitches great to see with a football crazy the populace uh, filling the stands for almost every game and thousands of spectators followed the live streamings of the tournaments online as well. And dividing deep into the state's football culture, it all starts with the Kerala Sevens, a seven-a-side local tournament played largely by the local amateurs with players from the African region joining in as well. The teams play each throughout the year, which gives rise to many young exceptional players who go on to represent the state. The Sevens played mostly in the paddy fields, also kept interest for the game alive in the society. And not to forget the contribution of the Kerala Premier League organised by the Kerala Football Association. Founded in 2013, the league has been a success. And the competition involves 24 clubs from Kerala and is said to be the only state football league in southern India. And gives the teams an opportunity to get promoted to the I League second division, which is the third tier competition of Indian football. A lot of government support as well, They're taking a keen interest in promoting the game. A lot of measures towards ensuring more playgrounds and stadiums in all panchayats in the state in order to do so. Nijo Gilbert has got great pedigree so so skillful and out of nowhere you can score some stunning goals and that is something Goa needs to be wary of and has clenched your Pinto
looking to stretch the go on defense bypassing midfield by going over the top here is Fahiz Both the teams with a lot of history and legacy. The two of the Indian footballs, the heavyweights, are fighting against each other. Goa beating the Kerala during the qualifiers the last season. The Kerala beat a Goa 3-2. In Bhubaneshwar, and both these teams share a great rivalry. In the flux of raw talents from those the states are playing across India and not just players even the coaches Rahim showing his strength A timely intervention from the go on skipper Tidying up at the back, Kerala. With the front three of Rahim, Sajish, and Nijo Gilbert all starts. And Nijo Gilbert has been already threatening from the right, just asking for the ball. Mohammed Fahiz is Gawas Vinay Deshank now Gawas and Vinay is slightly deeper Joban Cardozo and Rane and apart from providing the width will have to come inside and in form a midfield diamond the teams are playing in a diamond shape it does have a great control of midfield it becomes difficult to move around but uh, there is a loop hole as well playing in that formation it does leave, gives a lot of space on the wide areas for the opposition to exploit it was almost like a box to box midfielder but for his uh, will drop into midfield time and again to initiate moves Free kick then in a great area for Kerala. It's Jitin and Nicho Gilbert. And both of them interested. Nijo Gilbert takes it, a deflection as well. A corner for Kerala. Just taking a slight touch off the go on wall. All the tall uh, figures. 
arriving inside the box. They cleared away from the near post. Lack elevation. Progress not allowed down the right uh, to Kerala's left. Ashik uh, comes out uh, to the number 29 Arjun. Attempt is wide. Just hitting it on the outstep. Shinu, Nitin. There is Sanju, Salim. Neshu and Fahiz just are trying to press, press the two centre backs. Force them into mistakes. So that when a chance arises, they can put them to bed. Another foul and a free kick for Kerala. Uh, both the flanks of Kerala has been very active in this game. Especially Nijo Gilbert down the right and Fahim from the left. Here is the latter. That was a decent ball. Collected by Antonio Dillon. And the former CESA Football Academy, the manager Charles Dice, leading the Goan team in this edition of the Santosh Trophy. Charles Dias as a coach rose through the ranks of CESA Football Academy. Started with the under-16 team, then took over the under-18s. A part of the senior squad as well. And leading the team in the Santos Trophy. Altogether is a different uh, proposition. And not just for the players, but for the coaches as well. Tournaments like this are very important for them to mature. And to propel in their career, getting exposed to different kind of play playing styles and a different kind of coaching methods. Go are just not managing to come out of their zone. Nijo Gilbert beats his man for pace. Nijo Gilbert pulled up hands string. And not a good sign for Kerala. Uh, they'll hope he's all right, but immediately uh, uh, clutching his hamstring. Uh, there it is. A change might be needed for, for Kerala. It will be a big, big blow if he fails to continue. That doesn't look pretty at all. One of Keller's primary attacker. There's been a decent crowd in each and every game. A 
a very two-footed player, Niju Gilbert. <laughs> Against Sam, we saw him play down the left, or operating from the right in this one. And even his goal in the added minutes scored with his left foot. Now the stretcher is out. Are we staring at a substitution? Looks like he's done for the evening. So Kerala playing with 10 on the pitch for the time being. Fahiz makes the pass, pass and then runs into open space. A sign of a good player. And Akbar Siddiqui is the player who will be replacing Nicho Gilbert. And this will give a goer a psychological advantage. And Akbar Siddiqui filling into the big shoes of Nijo Gilbert. And that was another long ball, slightly hesitation between Shinu and Siddharth. Crosses flat. Runs out for a throw in. Substitution for Kerala. Number comes on. Jesse number. For Nijo Gilbert. Eight. Number C D P C. Jesse number seven. Nijo Gilbert. Chance here for Kerala. Well defended by Muhammad Ali. That was the cross. The defender was already perfectly placed. Kerala's corner. There's the header. And just coming in from behind, unmarked Shinu. There's that late entry from behind. Just coming in from the blind side of Muhammad Ali. Just couldn't keep it on target. Appearance is scuffed. Nijo Gilbert it looks like a very serious injury and usually hamstring pulls it takes time to recover a shot from distance ambitious attempt There's the man on his screen, Rahim. Scored an intri incredible goal. Will definitely 
be part of the top five goals that are being scored in the final round. Ali's ball forward. Throw in taken quickly. A touch from Fahid is heavy. Santos Trophy held in Kerala a couple of seasons ago was a massive success. And the government of Kerala and the All India Football Federation's collaboration were given high praise for successfully hosting the 75th edition of the Santos Trophy. And the success of Kerala lately has put the state deservedly back on the roadmap of Indian football and the future of football in Kerala seems brighter than ever and a goal of football as well in the state of revival with clubs like Tempo, Sporting Club de Goa competing in the I League, second division and third division respectively. And that's always a good sign. His Ashik uh, from a tight space. Salim's ball, a deflection from Ashik and then Sajish should have at least uh, tried to test the goalkeeper. Uh, both the strikers have got good height up top. A perfect matchup uh, between Mohammad Ali and Sajish. Here is Ashik into the path of Akbar. Ashik's cross is sent out by the Goan skipper. Cross from the left. There's the header into the roof of the net. A teasing ball in from Salim. Uh, just finding its mark at the far post. He's with a great touch, eliminates one, leaves it on the left, first time ball in. Now the white shirts are quickly are converging on the ball. And taken away by Goa. Mohamed Fahiz uh, finds uh, the number 11 in a better position. Nacio outnumbered. Uh, not a convincing clearance. Uh, but the attempt from Gawas is blocked. Poor touch. A throw in for Kerala. And 
the scale aside does have the potential to play the final of the Santosh Trophy. A much needed victory in the opening game. So giving them a lot of confidence. Playing against Sam in Northeast and defeating them is never easy. So they got the better of Meghalaya earlier in the day. Who are languishing at the bottom of Group A. Who would have thought last season's runners-up? Mohammad Fahiz a twinkle toed one but a robust challenge on him that's well timed given as a corner a full blooded challenge by Shinu uh, just uh, try to convince the referee that he's got more of the ball. The referee just not acknowledging his call. Call not delivered. Uh, Muhammad Ali this time getting on the end of that. And the centre backs they come up whenever there is a set piece tries to put their height at, at a good use. Another off of the ball challenge. Mr. Dias is also complaining. An off the ball incident. It looks like an elbow on his chin. Try and show you if possible. It's been 15 years uh, since Goa won the Santos Trophy. Uh, the last one being at 2009, uh, defeating West Bengal in tiebreaker. Uh, reached the final in 2017 and lost uh, to the same team at the GMC Stadium in Bambulim, Manveer Singh scoring uh, the winner for Bengal at extra time. That's what he's complaining. Elbow on his chin. Levan Kastana, the India Sub Junior International. Just asking for a card. Uh, the referee just asking him to uh, go to the touchline for treatment. Surprised that, that there was no card shown. And the Kerala United custodian Siddharth is starting today for Kerala.
the shank. Muhammad Ali. Not managing to clear his lines. The ball is delivered into the box. Easy clearance. Looking to turn away from his marker. Uh, the yellow shirts are clustered around Sajish. Muhammad Salim. A wayward clearance from Liwan Kastanha. Be fixtures lined up tomorrow as well. Uh, beginning with uh, Karnataka versus Mizoram, uh, followed by Maharashtra versus Manipur. And that's a 2:30 p.m. kickoff. The streaming starts at 2:20. So the seventh Santos Trophy action. Live and exclusive only on FIFA Plus and on the official YouTube channel of the Arunachal Pradesh Football Association. And via uh, FIFA Plus, the matches can be viewed globally. Goa just a consuming possession with erratic passing getting impatient time and again pinned onto the path of Rane runs out of space Fahiz brought down get up says the ref Clemente back to Dylan. Leon Kastanha not getting enough on that pass. A go and player is down. The referee allows the game to flow. Now he's blown the whistle. We'll have a check on the injured player. A lot of stoppages in the first half. That pass from Levan Castana just a falling short of his uh, teammate. And Gawas uh, picking up uh, that injury. Just about three minutes of regulation time in the first half. Goa and Kerala. Yet to show anything in the first half. Kerala did dominate but not managing to break the Goan wall. It's nil-nil. Uh, 
Another injury concern. This time is Joseph Clemente. Just rising over Ashik. Headed away to safety. Ashik drawing Levan Kristana out of position. Ashik's cross but cleared. And that's a slightly a wayward. Fahiz skipping away from two challenges and then setting it up. But the flag goes up. It seems like the goal stands. The man in the center is signaling a goal. And the flag did go up from the assistant. Just with the wave of his hand from Lakshay. And Kerala players are vociferously challenging the referee's decision. Uh, but the goal will eventually stand. Uh, the man in the centre has given it. So Goa takes the lead. Just on the cusp of half time. Nesio with his second goal of the campaign what a ball from Fahiz right call from the man in the center he was clearly on Sanjuji just playing him on a perfectly timed run Goa in the lead here Kerala bench is absolutely agitated. And there's the celebration. Additional time of four minutes. Four minutes of added time. Uh, Fahiz escapes the first challenge, evades the second, and then that clip clearly on good call uh, from Lakshay the man in the middle the number 21 pl Nitin playing him on uh, the right full back of Kerala uh, both of them on the same wavelength no questions about the goal Great camera work, just clearing the seed of doubt. Possession is back with Kerala. On to their skipper. Goes for that long punt. A powerful header away is Fahiz. The creator of that goal. He's got a sparkling legs. Just twinkle toed a couple of white shirts. And splitting uh, the Kerala defence with that uh, clip over the top uh, Mohammed Ashik shown a yellow card uh, 
for protesting the referee's call. Goa came in as underdogs in this game. They are in the lead. Kerala will look to throw the kitchen sink at Goa in the first quarter of the second half. Goa will have to get away with that passage of play if they manage to do so. They've got a good chance of getting something out of this game. A great motivation, uh, that goal. And they'll go in the locker room with a lot of confidence. But the go one side completely charged up. Uh, just nicking uh, that goal. A very crucial minute of the game. And both the players are receiving treatment. Shinu R. A second Kerala player to be booked uh, this evening. The results in the previous uh, two games as well. Uh, services beating Arunachal by four goals to nil. And that great victory for Assam over Meghalaya. And Goa now a leading against Kerala in this one. One last attack. Comes back to Muhammad Ali. He's been a towering presence in Goa's defense. Goa's onto his midfield partner. Nesio, no space to turn. Uh, Kerala have a throw in. That's the half time whistle uh, from Mr. Lakshay. A late goal in the first half, giving Goa the lead. Kerala will have to go back uh, to the drawing board and make a change in their game plan when they come back for the second half. But for his, with that great ball uh, for Nesho sizzling through the Kerala defence. And Nesio just keeping his composure and finishing uh, that move. And these are the first half stats. 52% possession for Goa. Uh, Kerala winning three corners. One by Goa. And eight shots taken. Just one on target. Uh, three on the flip side uh, for Goa. The next up is the first half highlights. The third game of Group B. Uh, kicking off between Goa and Kerala. The second round of fixtures had an early chance, uh, Rahim, to put his side in the lead. And then uh, Fahiz at the other end. Rahim yet again with another teasing delivery. 
time and again uh, from the left. Uh, sending in uh, those good looking crosses and then the header from Shinu going wide uh, from the corner. Uh, for him putting it on a platter for Nesio just not managing to shrug off the challenges. Uh, cutting through it was Ashik at the other end. And this was the moment uh, that has generated a lot of debate. A cool and calm finish from Nesio. And then a yellow card to Shinu for that challenge. And that is how uh, the first half uh, came uh, to a close. So at half time, it's Goa 1, Kerala 0. We will come back shortly with the second half.
welcome back to the second half action you are watching the 77th edition of the national football championship for the santosh trophy live and exclusive on fifa plus and on the official youtube channel of arunachal pradesh football association it's a group a fixture where goa taking on kerala and they went into a break with a goal cushion nashio scoring the goal minutes before half time goa will look to ride on to that lead and pick up a full points from this game a task on hand though for kerala they lost nijo gilbert in the first half due to a hamstring injury akbar replacing him yet to exert his influence in the game and since nijo gilbert left the pitch with an injury the attacks from the right has stopped a more pressure on rahim now in building moves from the left wing now the right wing has been highly inactive so hopefully kerala uh, will come up with a new game plan in the second half and go all guns blazing uh, fahiz uh, continues to impress uh, for goa in the santosh trophy he scored in the last game against arunachal pradesh one assist onto his name now he's been goa's premium attacker all in readiness for the second half action the goan team in a huddle they cannot settle for anything less than 3 points the services will surely keep an eye on this fixture and hoping the kerala to drop points which will keep them on top and we are underway with the second half uh, the team in yellow goa will be operating from the right to left in the second half uh, satyavan balan with a very serious expression Arjun for Kerala. Rahim. This Akbar. Both number eights battling against each other. Akbar against Jobon Cardozo. Which means Fahim now will operate from the right. Uh, just that tweak from Satyavan Balan. Sajish out wide. Just not allowing him to uh, go for the cross. Here's that step over. Uh, Leewan Kastana's challenge. pressure mounting on goa that's the attempt just needed a touch at the far post a couple of white shirts closing in very quickly a teasing ball from arjun just over the head of the on rushing number 15 of kerala uh, that's a sajish chance goes a begging for the southerners vijay between the lines is a smart ball for nashio 
lining up for his second went off target so yet again that man Fahiz with the through ball fancy black heel uh, that's long for Nesio. Uh, Siddhartha collects. Uh, close down very quickly, winning it high. Here comes Goa. A possession lost. Kerala on the counter. Away from Joseph Clemente. Castana steps across, Kerala keeps going, lifting it up towards the far post, retrieved by Fahim, Nitin stepping him, Deshank just putting him on, putting him off. Nesio. Mohamed Fahiz, door opens up down the right. Joburn Cardozo, close to the goalkeeper. End to end action. Ashik. Nitin goes early inside the box a falls kindly for Raheem and he shoots on the turn parried away by the goalkeeper Antonio Dillon avoids uh, the danger in the exchange of a corner kick this was the attempt just escaping one challenge and unleashing a pile driver from the edge of the penalty area in comes the corner keeper off his mark missing the ball completely kept in play by Kerala Raheem close to it a couple of white shirts were interested back into the mix out of play for a goal kick five minutes into the second half Perfect start for Kerala. Desperate to get the equalizer. Goa will have their chances. They need to be patient. Kerala will leave gap at the back. Arjun over the top, Rahim foiled by Deshank, supported by Gawas. A wayward clearance. Now the reboot from behind. Siddharth. Ashik for Sajish. Those two combining up top. Goa clearing the line. Nitin takes on one. And sends the ball in. A good pressure applied by Goa. Completely under the pump. The men in yellow. Excellent passage of play from Kerala. Rahim's attempt was a haywire.
A win for Goa will take them to second with four points. A draw are not going to help them. The Kerala can be okay with it. It will keep them in the second spot at the end of the round two. Uh, Goa have got no other options uh, than to win uh, this tie. It will be difficult. But if they approach the remaining minutes with a certain plan, uh, they can grind out of result here. They'll have to do the dirty work. There's that willing runner on the left. Kerala come away at the other end. Riding the first challenge. Wriggles past the second. Rahim keeps going. He gets to the rebound. Uh, Deshank uh, was well aware that he's going to cross it with his right foot. Uh, quick to react. Uh, the left fullback. Uh, there's that uh, footwork uh, from Rahim. Uh, tried to cross it with his right foot. Just not allowing him to by that yard of space. A chance for Goa. Goa goes for goal. Off target. Lakshman Rao Rani, his efforts and go sailing over the crossbar. Arjun receiving it from Sanju. A slight high line at the back. Akbar. He's been introduced in the game. More of the balls going towards him. And the onus will be on the likes of Arjun and Jitin to involve him into the game. A try and uses a raw pace in the wide areas. Rahim. Hoisted across goal. A man arriving at the back post. Akbar. Late behind. A communication gap. A chance for the Goa to breathe finally. Still get, getting on to it. No nonsense clearance. 
collected by Kerala in midfield. And then that route one ball towards Rahim. And a channel ball for Nesio. Turning away from his man, Vinay. They're playing it on the right. Joban Cardozo. Joseph Clemente. And the flag stays down. Chance for Goa. And they extend their lead. A breast for Nacio. They scored the insurance goal. Yet again, the flag staying down. And the number 11 was in on goal. And the easy tap in. And this time with Ronnie. Just squaring it towards the number 11. Look at that. Flag staying down. Keeper coming out. Just spreads to spurn the chance. Uh, just releasing the ball at the right time. And Nesio is the fox in the box. His third goal of the final round. The wind knocked out of Kerala sails. Just taking a sting out of Kerala's high tempo. The Goa. On the driver's seat. It's their game to lose now. Still more than half an hour left in this match. We've seen stranger things happen in this sport. Kerala just needs to keep their heads up. Uh, that uh, hamstring injury to Nijo Gilbert. Proving very costly for Kerala. And what about that missed opportunity from Rahim? His header in the early embers coming off the woodwork. Had Kerala taken their chances, that could well have been a different story altogether. They're taking nothing away from this go on side. A greater presence of mind in the final third. Uh, both uh, from uh, Fahiz and uh, the number 17, Lakshmi, Lakshman Rao Rane. Deshank I can't find Rahim with that pass. Well, this game just getting difficult for Kerala. They got to try something different. He used the likes of Mohammed Safnid. Bring on Naresh if possible. A gifty gracious. He's also had a, a decent game against Assam.
on the flip side. McLean Shio Pinto and Wellington Fernandez it can add a lot of pace. A couple of changes. Getting ready for Goa. Mohammad Safnid will come on. He was a regular starter uh, during the Santos Trophy qualifiers. Uh, spotted while playing for Sports Academy Thirur in the Kerala Premier League. Takes it onto his stride. A quick on him, Muhammad Ali. He's been Goa's a pillar of strength in defence. Kerala from the near left onto the far side. A crosser from the full back. Easy pickings for the Goan defense. They're high in spirit. Nitin. Uh, giving away a uh, possession to Goa. Nesio. Uh, just uh, running out of gas. And a lean and lanky striker. A double change for Kerala. Uh, Mohammad Shafnid uh, coming in along with. Riswan. Riswan Ali They're coming in place of Nitin. Substitution for Team Kerala. Jesse number 27, Sakni E. Jesse number 03, Receiving treatment is Nesho. He's done his job. Scoring a couple of crucial goals. And now time for Joshua De Silva uh, to come on. He will replace uh, today's hero, Nesio Fernandez. Uh, Joshua also been among goals. Uh, did get on the score sheet against Arunachal Pradesh. Goa have got options who can score. A lot of similarity in physic between Nesio and Joshua. A like to like a change. Sujish just not getting the feel of the ball. Nice covering from Joseph Clemente, using his years of experience. Legend of Sporting Club de Goa. Finding the long legs of Joshua. That's a nameless ball. sign of urgency 
from Kerala. Mr. Ballon, who was formerly the assistant manager of Gokulam Kerala as well. Not the first time he's in charge of the state team. He played a very crucial role in Kerala's 2018 campaign as well in the Santosh Trophy. Held in West Bengal. Ashik. Well, they need a goal here, Kerala, to make a match out of this. It's just not doing enough, Arjun. Is one floating it into the box. Shinu squaring it for Arjun. Wayward cross. <laughs> Completely overcooked. He's got the gloves on. There is one Ali. Got to get up and get on with it. Akbar wide on the far left. Cross comes in, chance for the header. And for the second time in this game, Rahim not managing to turn it in. Kerala continues to be wasteful in front of goal. Not happy with his defense, Antonio Dillon. The man marking needs to be on point. Even off with the tiniest of sniffs, a Kerala a can hit the nail on the head. Riswan Ali. Kerala in the attack. There's the deflection and the header. This time it's uh, Sajish. Sajish. 
Safe pair of hands from Antonio Dillon. Just it came straight at him. Had to place it down either side and challenge the keeper. Ashik. He's got three yellow shirts to deal with. Joshua De Silva just tried to be a clever out there. Lacked support. Yeah, that's poor uh, from Kerala. Arjun. The one two not coming off. For his a bright idea. A slight falter in execution. of need straight into the shank and the yellow card comes out uh, Mohammad Fahiz has shown a yellow card and free kick for Kerala we are into the last quarter There's that uh, rising uh, right arm straight onto his face. Okay, they're looking to pull one back. Rizwan Ali taking the set piece needs to retake it just to wait uh, for the referee's whistle. will be happy to retake it this time a change in set piece taker will that bring any change in Kerala's fortune uh, that eventually running out of play Very poor. Very poor than his standards. A change in personnel. For Goa as well, a clean show Pinto is coming on. Uh, bringing in more experience on the pitch, Charles Tyus. Look to manage the game. In the remaining minutes. Urgency from Kerala. Across from the left. They're setting up Rizwan Ali and the header from the far post is just wide. And the Goan players celebrate. 
uh, for a moment uh, from this angle it seemed like it went in uh, the other end that was the setup Rizwan Ali a much much better cross this time it's the side netting uh, Kerala's best chance of the second half Glencio Pinto and Dattaraj Gaukar are coming on for Goa. And Mohammed Fahiz making way for the number 29. Glencio Pinto is also on. Dai is just saving him for the remaining games. Goa needs uh, Mohammed Fahez to be at his very best. He is the man who can get them over the line. A leader up top. And Muhammad Ali leading in defense. That's a zipping ball towards Joe Byrne. A slight confusion between Salim and Siddharth. Siddharth initially looked slightly reluctant to go for the ball. And just can't put that blame uh, to the turf. Now that's one of the drawbacks of being, playing in Astro Turf. The bounce. The ball just spins backward sometimes. It can get uh, very, very tricky. Naresh. <laughs> Coming in for Kerala. <laughs> Akbar comes off. He hasn't had any impact. Glencio Pinto was looking for Joshua De Silva. comes Kerala trying to bulldoze his way into the penalty area a head injury to Mohammed Ashik uh, both the players in fact are down a collision inside the box between Joseph Clemente and Mohammad Ashik the play had to be stopped and Nashio has been the difference maker in this game and this is why the first one and this is uh, the second 
of this evening. Rane just squaring it at the last minute. And Neshu just had to tap it in. And not to forget that this man, Mohammed Fahiz, in both the games, has been a standout performer for Goa. And now the stretcher is out. Uh, this was the incident. Uh, Mohammed Ashik and Lewan Kastanha. Uh, the former coming off worse in the challenge. Still about regulation time of six minutes left. It's very difficult uh, to break uh, the Goan uh, barrier. Uh, just oozing with confidence. Uh, Raheem has uh, shown signs of positivity uh, from Kerala's uh, perspective. Uh, just didn't get the right kind of uh, support from Ashik and Sajish. Even though Kerala did start uh, the game well. Uh, that injury to Nijo Gilbert just changing the complexion altogether. Uh, just that window of opportunity uh, for Goa. Card out of his pocket. Satyavan Balan is booked. Kerala, what do they have up their sleeve? Just uh, struggling to produce anything constructive yet. Uh, Goa are happy to defend. Another deep cross towards the far post. A goal kick for Goa. Uh, both of Raheem and Ashik going up.
Goa looking to bring on a centre back. They'll shut shop and look to sit onto this lead and try and protect it. Daniel Gomes will be coming on. The former Salgaukar FC skipper. was once awarded the best uh, defender in the Goa Pro League. Uh, Gawas uh, will make a way for Daniel Gomes. He comes with the experience of playing in the Indian Super League as well. Uh, that's a smart move from Charles Dice. Substitution This was the attempt from Naresh. A difficult angle uh, to score from. Just a minute of regulation time. Kerala's throw. Out of the box. Back in. They're sent back once more. The Kerala looking to keep this going. Joshua will buy some time. A great footwork racing through the middle. Joshua De Silva. And that's much better from Kerala. Seven minutes of stoppage time. Still time for Kerala. And to get something out of this game. And just Joshua De Silva up top. Uh, that's a great ball inside. Uh, straight uh, to the goalkeeper. Uh, Sajish was waiting in the middle. Another failure in execution. De Silva is offside. Uh, that was a tight call. It looked pretty close. And drags it towards the byline. A cross comes in. Uh, kept alive uh, by Kerala. Uh, Mohammad uh, Safneed with the attempt. Uh, just a teasing uh, ball inside the box. The 
Again, the flag going up. A Goa will be happy with this. Glenn Shopinto. The shank. The collective uh, performance by the Goan defense. Uh, they have been a rock solid uh, this evening. Daniel Gomes fouled. Shafrid past a couple free kick for Caroline Tensio Pinto can't believe it shown a yellow card and Joshua's elaborate touch Mohammed Salim uh, this time goes to the referee's book. Just the last couple of minutes uh, for Goa. Uh, they can smell of victory. A commendable uh, result uh, for Goa, who are at a revival mode. Pinto taking it down. In behind is Joshua De Silva. Just uh, buying time. The last minute of this game. And there's the protection from Joseph Clemente. Kerala can only get a consolation goal from here on. There's just 30 seconds remaining on the clock. Anywhere will do for Goa. Just the last few moments. And that's the full-time whistle. A memorable result for Goa. A victory takes them second on the points table. 
Delhi Frog Kerala. Uh, just a couple of points behind services now. A draw in the opening game against the hosts Arunachal Pradesh. But what a remarkable comeback uh, by Goa. Uh, beating Kerala 2-0. And after a memorable opening game, uh, Kerala, uh, they face a defeat in their second fixture. Uh, had a lot of the ball, but nothing to show for in the scorecard. 19 shots taken, only three of them on target. That sums up Kerala's uh, performance uh, for the night. It was a clash between the two former champions. A clash of history, legacy and two completely different styles of football. Raheem could have been the hero. A couple of darting entries in into the box. Then from the corner, uh, the header from Shinu off target. Another curling delivery into the roof of the net. Ashik cutting in from the far left. Uh, this is how Goa celebrated in the first half. Nashio scoring from Mohammed Fahiz's the pass. Okay, Lak kept pressing and pressing. Uh, but the goal eluded them. And a shot on the half turn. And drawing a save of the keeper. And then another chance. Now the flag staying down. And Goa. Nick their second goal. Nesio with a brace. Kerala kept on trying. Rahim continues to be wasteful. And then that stray arm from Mohammed Fahiz. Glencio Pinto. His cross. And then Ashik's layoff for Naresh. Uh, this was a quality ball played inside. Uh, the end product from Safnid was disappointing. A truly rewarded for all their hard work. And so at full time, it's Goa 2, Kerala 0. We will come back tomorrow with the Group B fixtures. And the first one being between Karnataka and Mizoram. That's a 10 a.m. kickoff. Thanks for joining us and good night.